Mr. 412, aka Mr. J, with another segment of Sideways. Hopefully all is well, hopefully everybody's doing good. Me, I'm chilling. Uh, this video is just, uh, just going to upload a little bit of uh, different uh, opinions, different thoughts, uh, things that are going on real quick. Right now, uh, I'm in the process of uh, recording some new music. I hope you guys uh, check out my music. Scroll down my page and you'll see my music. The first things I ever loaded up, uploaded was music. Look it up under S Dwell. The latest music I, uh, that, that you could consider that I put a lot of effort into it is uh, called No Hay Amor, Where I'm From. You'll see it. You'll see the album cover right there. Secondly, I uploaded a quick uh, mix, uh, which I'm going to call it a couple tracks, nothing major. They didn't call it nothing. Uh, it was during the quarantine. I wrote up a couple things real fast when the quarantine barely started. Uh, four tracks, you'll see them. It's like four or five tracks. Uh, you'll see that. It's the same picture, but it doesn't look like an album cover. Um, those are, that's the most recent, but the, when I check them out, hopefully you like them. That wasn't uh that was more like quick stuff, you know what I mean? Threw it in there. Uh the, the stuff I did really put some effort into was uh Why I'm where I'm from. It's about like nine tracks. And to me I like them. They're good, good tracks personally, personally speaking. And then uh I never made it into an official like album, but I to myself I called it raw and uncut. Never really did uh took pictures, but you, all those tracks are pretty much the what, on the scroll down all the way to the bottom, and there the, with the Aztec pyramid, and uh, the Aztec that is doing tats. That's pretty much considered in, uh, the same, the same, uh, same CD, same stuff. There's a couple other stuff with Aztec pictures, but if it, that's just like separate stuff. Uh, what I call raw and cut is the pictures with the pyramid, and the Aztec doing a tattoo, or the Mayan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so check those those tracks out. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna be coming up with new stuff. I recently uh, got a couple beats. Still gonna get some a couple more. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna upload it. My uh, start recording. Might take a couple weeks, but uh, just uh, hopefully uh, once I get that done, you guys uh, check that music out too and show some support. Like I said, eventually, if I make money off it, cool. Eventually, I just want to have some uh, material, be recognized, and later on build my platform. That way, I could help others too. You know what I mean? Uh, help in whatever little help I could help out. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, if you watch my videos, hopefully you you, you check out that uh, my tracks, my jams, comment whether you like them or not. Hopefully, you like them. I hope you do. I, I really think you will. If you're into that kind of music, uh, like I. Uh, that uh i consider myself a chicano rapper yeah i consider myself a chicano rapper but that could be uh that definition could be different to everybody you know what i mean some people think of chicano rap like like what we consider like ball gangsters with dickies you know what i mean that's what we consider chicano rap but that's not a that's not the the full picture of a chicano you know what i mean uh a lot of people don't consider psycho realm chicano rap but it's Chicano rap, you know what I mean? But uh, just because it doesn't sound like Chicano rap, or what, what you think Chicano rap is supposed to sound like, uh, no, nah. Conejo is more, like, like it's still not like Chicano rap, it's hip hop, you know what I mean? To me, like Conejo is hip hop. Some people might not think of him as a Chicano rapper, but at then he is, you know what I mean? If he's Raza, if you're Raza, and you're a Mexican rapper, it's your Chicano rapper. What, what, you, what you can say about that, you know what I mean? I'm not ashamed. A lot of, uh, I've noticed a lot of rappers are ashamed to say they're Chicano rap. Or they, they don't want to be categorized of Chicano rap. But they just want to be something else, you know what I mean? And that's fine. But at the end of the day, if you're a Mexican, you're Chicano, you're born here, your family's Mexicanos. And you're rapping, yeah, you're a Chicano rapper, no matter what you want to call it. Um... Uh, like I said, it, it could be a different definition to everybody. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm not embarrassed to say I'm a Chicano rapper. 
I'm not embarrassed to say I'm a hip hop guy. I'm a hip hopper. I'm rap. I'm G funk. Uh, lyricist or whatever you want to call it. I'm not ashamed. I fall under all the category. Gangster music, positive music. I like mixing it up. Uh, but yeah, there's a certain sound. Us Chicanos tend to uh, fall in. Depends how you make that sound sound. You know what I mean? That's on you. You're good. You make any sound sound good. Any type of beat you're in, it's gonna be dope. But yeah, we we have a certain sound. At the end, I hear also, like I said, I hear all these rappers talking. Uh, like they don't want to be categorized as a Chicano rap, because for a while Chicano rap was more what you consider like all these beats or or old school original West Coast funk beats. You know what I mean? Like uh. And just like typical people were rapping to a uh, uh, cutie pie beats that's the original you know what I mean and, and not even not even but that's what people think or expect that Chicano rap is you know for a little while it had a certain sound yeah and, and, and that, that's what the Chicano rap or Chicano rappers were doing at the time you know what I mean but if you tell me tell me where Chicano rap is at right now you know what I mean? Tell me where Chicano rap is at right now. There's always been the few that, yeah, they separate themselves a, a little bit from from the from the from what typically we believe to think is a Chicano rap. In every generation, there's a few. Just like uh, like I said, uh, back then it was Little Rob, Mr. Shadow, uh, Proper Dos, Brownside. But then there's two mechs, and there's Psycho Realm, then there's, uh, I don't know if I said Conejo, the Mexicans, you know what I mean? The Mexicans, uh, there's 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 different types, there's Triple C, you know what I mean? Uh, Central Coast Click, Cali Lifestyle, Night Out, there's a bunch of guys, you know what I mean? And a few of those guys, and there's more, those are just names that are recognizable if, if, if you're into Chicano rap, but... Uh, Think about it now. Look at it now. I don't hate on nobody, but uh, if you really think about Chicano rap today, nowadays, you know, there's a lot of good rappers. So I'm not gonna get. It sounds different. Chicano rap, it sounds different. But if you really pay attention to all the Chicano rap, much props to everybody doing the thing. But the majority of Chicano rap sounds the same. It doesn't sound like it would back then, what you expect to think, but. Every Chicano rapper I hear, every song I hear, the majority is now in, in the same bundle or in the same uh, category as it was back then. Yeah, people ain't rapping to funk. People ain't rapping to all these like they were back in the day. People weren't saying, orale se on the rap, Simon, or, or you know what I mean? Stuff like that. That was the lingo back then. Nowadays, you hear all these Mexicans saying the N-word. And rapping to a bunch of beats, every beat sounds the same to me. So we in the same category now, still as we were back then. Ain't nothing changed. The sound changed, but ain't nothing different. You know what I mean? Nothing really explosive. A couple tracks people bring out are cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, if you're dope, any beat you can kill it. it doesn't matter who you are or how you sound like, as long as you come at it on point. It doesn't matter the beat, you'll kill it. But every track, because I, I, I watch Latin Beast TV, you know what I mean? I think there's a Chicano, there's a couple platforms on YouTube that, that, that promote rappers. But uh, pretty much they all sound the same. Like I said, it's rare when someone tries to switch it up. And there's a few that do, but not too many. And uh, now the sound is different. So in my opinion, it's kind of the same. We haven't really changed. If, if, if you want to... Maybe five years from now, because back in the day when I was growing up, they used to say Chicano rap was whack. Chicano rap sounds like this. Oh, that's a Chicano rapper, typical stereotype, stereotypical, and what you expect. That's just what I used to hear. You know what I mean? Um, nowadays, I think like five, six years from now, it's gonna be the same thing. All these who's are gonna, like I said, you really don't hear no, too much new stuff, too much things that make a difference. And when it comes to the Chicano rap, there is a few. There is a few, like I said, that stand out. Just for an example, uh, Miss Fesoto, Cujo, Conejo, again, King Little G. 
Much props to King Little G. You know what I mean? I never really heard his music. But in reality, I, I believe he's a guy that, uh, the reason, the, much props. I call him a revolutionary at the end of the day. Why? Because him and, uh, he, whether, whether it was him and, uh, Young Drummer Boy, they, uh, they, uh, I think they reinvented it, came up with the new style, and from there, everybody just kind of adapted. So they're the originators, to be honest, of the new sound we hear, in my perspective. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I've never been a hater. Yeah, there's guys that are whack. Even in the, in, 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 in the African American community, in the black rap, black rappers, there's a lot of them that are whack. You know what I mean? Um, and there's a lot of them that are dope. Yeah, you hear more of them on the radio, on the TV, on the hits, on and off. Uh, because they just have a different style and they bring out a different, they, their emotion about it is different. And not a lot of it sounds the same. Yeah, also. But it's still a little different tone, different tune, different flow. I've never been a hater. I listen to everything, all types of rap. You know what I mean? And in the beginning, when I was a kid, maybe, I used to say Chicano rap was whack. But once you start learning, gaining knowledge and conscience, it's like, this is us. This is our thing. This is our music. And a lot, when you really pay respect to the people that are get down, there's a lot of rappers that get down. To me personally, Little Rob is dope. Um, when you Kid Frost is dope, you know, those are the people that paved the way uh, for, for the Raza. Brownside has some good music. Cool music, good music, I consider music. Like I said, maybe they weren't the greatest lyricists, but their music was dope. The way they put it together, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Uh, rest in peace to Toker. No, not to talk bad on nobody. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I used to bump. To this day, I'll play some Brownside tracks. Um, but yeah, it depends the, the what you do, what you put into it. How you make it sound. As long as you put originality and creativity, it'll be good. But it wasn't, you still got to change it up no matter what. You, you stick to the same thing, it's going to get played out. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I think. There's a Chicano rap right now, though. I, I like it. As long as it's, it, it, to me, like I said, there's no real difference. If you want to consider Chicano rap, I think we're still Chicano rap. It's still under the same, it sounds different beats now, but everybody's rapping to the same beats. Everybody's rapping to the same beat, so in reality, there's no difference from when everybody was rapping to the oldies and the funk back in the day. You know what I mean? Because now they're, they're doing the same thing, just with different sound. We gotta step it up. You know what I mean? But in reality, I've seen we have been coming up in, as a Chicano rap community. We have been coming up, and uh, that's what I respect at the end of the day, because they said back in the day, a lot of Mexican rappers wouldn't want to help nobody. And once again, I give props to Toker from Brownside because I, I noticed he is the type of guy who wanted to help people and come up. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, give opportunities. And I see King Little G do that every once in a while. And I'm seeing that grow more. More people are coming with the mind state that we have to help each other. And that's progress and that's good. And one day, one, one of us is going to come up or one of you is going to come up and be blended in with the music. That we hear all day every day and you're going to be a good name a respectable name if we keep moving up like that it might take a couple years but it can happen as long as we don't switch our mindset and we progress with the raps and change it up and do what we got to do and hopefully I, I i spark some mind up with my raps check them out like i said uh we got to change it up do our thing have fun with music if you get paid or not have fun with it and if you get paid good for you you know, that's just my thought. There's, there's a, and, 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 and like I talk about in a couple of videos, you know what I mean? No disrespect to nobody. But if you're a gangster, do your gangster things. If you're a gangster and you want to rap and you're doing something with it, stick to the rap, man. Keep it. Don't, don't, don't keep falling back to your, to your steps because there's a lot of people getting lost and they lose opportunities they had and the chances they had. For somebody else to recognize them and be something big because at the end of you respects and follows you and we gotta change it up man we gotta change it up uh like right now i saw in the news that uh i've been seeing he's not big time famous but he's somebody that's i'm pretty sure everybody that follows the chicano rap scene knows who this guy is he's from crime family 
Diablo, you know what I mean? I'm, I didn't get too much into his music, but I would hear his jams, I would see his face, and he's locked up, you know what I mean? Maybe he had the opportunity to come up or help somebody, but now that's gone. Why? Because he didn't let go of his uh, thing, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion, that's just a, a, a thought to share. Uh, like Sarbo Loco got lucky. Like I said, he has the opportunity, a major opportunity. He had a major opportunity, and, and he almost lost it. You know what I mean? He almost lost it forever. He has a redemption. Uh, he has an opportunity again. We'll see what he does. And then also, I think, Devourer. You know what I mean? He almost messed up his, his life, his career. I don't know the real story, but, you know, he's out. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody can be tough. Everybody can handle their scandal. Do your thing. But uh, don't don't lose your life. You know what I mean. If you if you're doing something with this rap stuff, follow that instead. You know what I mean. Let let let, er, let everything that's gonna set you back behind. You know, it's your boy Dwell. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys uh, uh, tune in, check my page out, help me support you, help me support others. Uh, today I just did a video. I'm not in my studio. I'm actually in my room. It's a little cold outside. The studio's pretty cold. Uh, much love, much respetos. Peace to everybody.